A racist road commissioner in Michigan was recently asked to step down after using a racial slur before a public meeting. Uh, so now, the Leelanau County Road Commissioner's meeting uh, hadn't even been hadn't even started yet on Tuesday when a man, uh, Tom Eckerl, who was first elected back in 2018, first refused to wear a mask. Right, so like, hey, wear a mask to this meeting, right? Uh, and then decided to use a racial slur, a racial epithet, to dismiss concerns about coronavirus. This was reported in the Leelanau Enterprise. So now, here's what he said. The whole thing, meaning coronavirus, right? The whole thing is because of those N-words down in Detroit. And he used the actual word. Okay. Oh. That's according to the commission's administrative assistant, Linda Kuhn. So, wow. Uh, just wow. Right out there in the open. He is not hiding that whatsoever. He does, uh, he does not like black people. Uh, so now this wasn't well received, right, uh, by his uh, fellow road commissioners. Um, road Commission Chairman Bob Joyce said that he was furious with Eckerl <clears throat> and had been touched with the commission's attorney, although unfortunately no action has been taken against the remarks in that meeting. And there's a reason for that, of course. Uh, so now... <clears throat> Joyce said this, quote, in no way, shape or form do we condone this type of behavior. We're trying to find out what can be done. Now, when challenged by Joyce, uh, here's what uh, Eckerl said, quote, I could say anything that I want. Black Lives Matter has everything to do with taking the country away from us. Who's this us? Who's us? Oh, right. Racist white guys. Of course. Now, look, he is technically right. He can say whatever he wants, right? Uh, but that does not mean that you are free from consequences. Apparently, this man has never faced these consequences before. Uh, and by the way, he, he seems to be a bully, right? Uh, at work, he has forced people to resign due to his treatment, right? Of people on the job. For example, a former engineer frequently targeted for criticism by Eckerl, resigned last year. The board's finance minister and secretary resigned after 18 years to take a similar job in a different county. Uh, this is all after he was elected in 2018. Uh, the Road Commission's former managing director left shortly after Eckerl's election, and his replacement lasted less than a year. So this guy is a bully, and he's a racist, and he's not hiding it. And he's basically rubbing it in people's faces. When asked, by the way, in an interview after this originally happened earlier this week, Eckerl doubled down. It, now, he was talking with a uh, local public radio station, um, Interlochen Public Radio, and he said, it's not racism to use the N-word. Oh, oh, really? Uh, wrong. It actually is racist to use that word. But here's his quote on that. It, it gets even worse. Quote, I don't regret calling it an N-word. An N-word is an N-word is an N-word. That's not a person whatsoever. Wow. Wow. No doubt in my mind. This guy is super racist. But he's like, oh, no, 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 no. You don't understand. It's not racist to say that. Uh, it's just the N-words that aren't really people in Detroit causing coronavirus. They're totally not racist. Uh, yeah, it, it actually is. It's incredibly racist. Deeply racist. The man's worldview is a problem. What Black Lives Matter is saying is that, hey, uh, we know your lives matter, but ours too. And right now, our lives are in danger. Okay? And you know who's – you know – uh, who's putting their lives in danger? People like Eckerl. And you know what? That man should be afraid, right? He should be afraid um, because he doesn't deserve to have the power that he has and should be removed from it. Now, the thing is, is that they have difficulty firing this guy because they actually can't. 
Uh, according to the Leland County, uh, County Administrator, Chet Janik, Eckerl can't be removed because he's an elected official and not a county employee. As such, they really cannot do anything to discipline him. So racist people elected him. They put him into power. And no one can get rid of him except for the voters. And if he's got racist voters, well, then obviously they're going to keep voting for the racist. Uh, and so now he's getting a lot of criticism uh, for, uh, uh, you know, uh, from people uh, around him. Uh, for example, State Representative Jack O'Malley is a Republican who represents the county Ekro was elected in, announced Thursday that he spoke with him and tried to get him to resign, quote, he confirmed to me that he did use the racist slur. After some discussion, I asked Mr. Eckel to resign. He refused. And so that's it. Well, they can't really do anything about it, right? They can't remove him because, again, the racist voters put him there and they could keep putting him there as road commissioner. Great. Fantastic. Awesome. Uh, but there's one hope, actually. And it's Governor Gretchen Whitmer. Uh, now, Governor Gretchen Whitmer is basically the only person that has the power to actually get rid of this guy. So now, what makes me hopeful about that is that in this state, and, and she's getting a lot of pushback from it, she just declared racism a public health issue. Well, okay. Hey, you know what? Great. It is a public health issue for people who are black. It's always been a public health issue. Uh, and so, yes, now I don't necessarily know what action she's going to be able to take now uh, as a result of calling this a public emergency, but it's, it'll be nice to see what they do, right? Uh, and so maybe one of her first acts now with, those, uh, with that power is to go to this guy and be like, you're done, son. Go back home. <laughs>